previous video gave you a brief review of a portion of your first session. This video shows you the exercise that you will do as the immediate follow-up to what you saw in the previous video. Modules whose name begins M digit E are example modules. For those modules, you must run them and at least skim the code. That way, you know what the example shows, so you know when it might be helpful to refer back to that example module. So, in class, in session one, you should do the following with the M1E module. First, open it. Second, run it. Third, read or skim its code, in this case noting that the previous video explained that code. Then you move ahead to the M2 module. It does not have an E after the two, so it is a module in which you will be doing some exercises and turning in that work. So after running and reading M1E, you should open the M2 module like this. I see that it's line one is a print statement that I already know about from the M1E example. Continuing to read module M2, I see that it's lines three to seven remind me what a comment is, and it's lines nine to 14 remind me what a module is and what a string is. Then I see the key word, to do. All through this course, whenever you see the word to do, there will be instructions for an exercise that you are to do. Here it says as number one to run this module and confirm that hello world really did get printed. So I do so. Yep, it's there. Then it says as number two to add another print statement below the first one and then test to be sure that it worked. Okay, number two is done. Number three says to add another print statement that prints the product of 3,607 and 34,227. That is, it wants me to write a print statement that multiplies those two numbers and prints the result. I won't demo that here. Instead, I'll leave number three for you to figure out during session one. If you have any troubles figuring it out during session one, simply ask for help. That's why your instructor and student assistants are there. Number four says to turn in my work by committing the module. So I do just that. First, I select the module. Oh, notice that it has a little black dot next to it. That means that I have made changes to the module that I have not yet turned in. Second, I go to the SVN menu and select Commit. When you do your team project, it will be critical to write a short comment here so that your teammates know where you are with your part of the team project. But until we get to that part of the course, you don't have to bother with a comment since just committing it says all that needs to be said. Note that the little black dot went away. Good. But now I see that I would like to improve my work. I like to mark my to-dos as done, so I will do that now and do a quick run to make sure that all is okay. You don't have to mark your to-dos as done, but many students find it a useful practice. Ah, the black dot is back. I need to recommit my module to turn in this new work. You can commit as many times as you want. SVN keeps all the versions, and we will grade only the most recently committed version unless you tell us otherwise. So committing is a great way to back up your work to the cloud, even if your work is not yet finished. This video has shown you how you will do module M2 of session one. There will be lots of people to help you with the modules during session one. So don't worry if you are fuzzy on anything at this point.